Welcome back everybody to a new series where I'll be detailing the most efficient and LFG proof strategies to guarantee the one phase of every boss in the corresponding raid. These videos are designed with efficiency in mind which may sometimes require the use of more difficult strategies like rocket rotations, but rest assured that considerable effort has been put into striking a good balance between what's necessary versus what's flashy. So today we're starting things off with King's Fall. The War Priest is the first boss you'll face in King's Fall and fun fact he also happens to be the healthiest raid boss in the game which as a consequence has a significant bearing on the strategy used for a one phase. The War Priest is one of, if not the single most difficult bosses to one phase in the game, so there really isn't much wiggle room here for easy options. If you're looking to one phase, your team needs to include the following. One person using tractor cannon with either a fusion rifle or double slug double pellet setup, one person running Galahorn again with either a fusion or shotguns, and the other four players on an enhanced reconstruction bait and switch apex predator. The tractor and Galahorn players both need to be using Well of Radiance and cycle them accordingly since the damage phase can last up to 45 seconds and a single well will only last 30 seconds. The four players with legendary rockets should be using their class's best burst super, which for warlocks is Needlestorm, for titans is either Thundercrash or Pyrogale, and for hunters is Celestial Nighthawk. Weapons wise, the four players should perform Izzy rocket swaps with either a Breach GL or Fusion Rifle in the energy slot. If all is well, it should end up like so. Moving on to Golgoroth, the cleanest and easiest way to defeat him is by using linear fusion rifles. The damage phase can last up to a minute and a half, which puts a strong emphasis on high total damage loadouts, which linear fusion rifles happen to excel at. The most consistent pick by far is Cataclysmic with 4th times a charm bait and switch, but alternatives like the Taipan with Vorpal work fine as well. Class wise, all Warlocks should be using Well of Radiance, all Titans using either Strand, Thundercrash or Pyrogel, and all Hunters using Celestial Nighthawk. Again, make sure you have triple matching surges on your boots and someone on your team is using Tractor Cannon ideally one of the gaze players. If all is well, you should kill in no more than 5 orbs. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Second well. Yep. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Three, burn, two, four. Third ball will be delayed. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Should be a four up here. Oh, I forgot something I said. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, nice. That should be it. Good stuff, yeah. guys. Yeah, that was clean. Next, we have the Daughters of Oryx, and let me preface by saying that these are some of the weakest raid bosses in the game, meaning you'd have to try really hard not to one-phase each of them, but regardless, a very easy setup you can use is 5 Leviathan's Breaths with 1 Divinity. Again, make sure you have someone using Well of Radiance, but this time it must be placed with Lunar Faction Boots, otherwise Leviathan's Breath cannot achieve its maximum rate of fire. All Leviathan's Breath users must also run at least one Void Loader on their gloves to reduce the draw animation to its minimum duration. If you set it up correctly, you should get some nice clean kills like so. Look at the difference. Yeah, it's massive. That noise. What is that noise? Is it the foot? It's the bird. Right. Finally, Oryx is also a challenging one phase, but this time you can reliably do it without the need for any rocket swapping. Simply use Whisper of the Worm. Much like the Daughters encounter, making sure you have triple Solar Surge with one Divinity and five Whispers with Catalyst, you should end up with the following. I'm just Brock Whisper breathing. Hitting 110. 
Look at that health bar, dude. Yeah, GG's. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's as easy as it gets. Keep in mind that our kill was about 22 seconds, which meant we still had around 3 seconds left in the damage phase, so it was pretty tight, but it still gets the job done. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, dear viewer.